Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to swap out the standard chip in your filter to a discrete op amp uh, upgrade to make it a deluxe. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the back. It's really handy if you have an electric screw gun here, but they are short and will not take very long, even if you don't. Alright, boom. All right, so we open this guy up. The chip we want to change out is this one right in the middle, all right? So it's, a, it's an OPA2134, and you just, it's in the socket, so all you got to do is carefully take either a, a actually the tool I kind of like here is a little flathead screwdriver, and you just kind of get up under there, and then you can just coax it out so you don't bend the, the legs too bad. You can get this out faster but you might bend these tiny little legs and then it's hard to get back in. So the goal there is you can still use it. Take that out and then we're gonna take a look at this discrete op amp here. On the bottom, there is a little half moon on one side, not here, but here. That little half moon on the black part of the socket needs to correspond with the little cutout on the top here. So there's not a cutout on the bottom. There is one on top. It might be a little bit hard to see, but there is a cutout there that's slightly different. Those two cutouts need to, need to match. That's the most important thing. So you might have to bend over these little capacitors that are next to it. Don't worry about that. They can totally bend um, all day long. And then check my polarity, little moon, little cutout, and then we're just gonna carefully get in there, line up the little legs, drop it in, press it down. I like to kinda let the power jack cable just rest on top. Boom, close it up, that's it.